Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be finishing episode 4 of Hunter the Parenting. Now, last time around, Grimmel was awesome, Marcus and his friends were just really fun to watch, and we met Big D's ex, and I'm really curious to see how this goes. You guys know the deal, there's a link below to the original video, hit it up, and let's get started. We'll meet with Grimmel when she's not being an insincere bugger. Oh, transition. And that's the Why does the cat have earmuffs? That D. So, what's the plan, Pope? Did they actually... Yeah, they actually overemphasize his chin even more than before. Wow. It like just gets... On one of my werebear safaris. I werebear safaris? I alert. Okay, maybe I was very much underestimating this man, because if he's not full of his... Well, shit. That is someone who could hunt werewolves, or werebears, any of the were creatures. So that is, um... He's either absolutely full of shit and it was just a regular bear or he's a lot more powerful than I realized because holy shit, man. And to shoot on sight. Metaphorically, of course. Metaphorically? For now. Oh. Games were werebears. To hell with the werebeast, <laughs> See, boy. Honestly, I think he's giving the, oh yeah, we're not going to shoot him just yet. No, no, no. He came to the right conclusion. Wait, werebears? What? He's probably full of himself. These are all regular animals, and he probably thinks they're wares. That's probably the joke here. He is after something in the archive. I'm sure. And, I don't uh, think he cares enough. Do, by the way? Well, he's off on an errand for Giles. Wasn't that right? Yeah. I... This is... Why are there so many lemons? I'm not a bar goer. I have no idea if that's normal. It just, it looks weird to me. Also, just realized it says burb, B-I-R-B. Oh, my God. I can barely read the rest. It's all jokes. And drop my keys, uh, uh, wallet, and, uh, uh, smokes. Uh, he said he knew what I might have dropped him, so I told him about it. All right. Uh, I'll go fetch him myself. I don't trust right. this man. Uh, speaking of smoke, that day did come off all suspicious like when... So I was told to look at everyone who goes off on their own like you're playing a game of Murder on the Clock Tower. Also, if no one knows what that game is, uh, assume that you're wrong and you're playing a social deduction game in that order. It's fun. As long as you're okay with not having the slightest clue what's going on. Maybe that's just my take. Bas uh, basically, you're trying to figure out who's doing what, what clues are being given off by everyone to try and give away if someone's lying because everyone's telling the truth except for the person who's not. And the people who are also lying about other things. When he harangued me at the 99 p store. Yeah, what's that about? Hell, he doesn't even know. I was on the register know. when he came in. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is what it looked like at his side. Excuse me. He started chatting me up real pushy-like. Yeah. He didn't introduce himself as D. He said his name was Kevin. Kevin he did. You can just call me Kevin. <laughs> the laugh. He said his name was Kevin? Yeah. Why would that get to him? So diable. Devil? Did Kevin formerly work for this guy as an accountant? They said he got his info from a blank body named Kevin. Or oh, he put that That's together it. because he was listening. It's so evident now. He's going to zoom this D. It's all a front to steal from our archives. Yeah. It's all a ploy. No. What do we do? I don't think D plans Trump that far ahead. Bloody, we can end D. Once and for all. It wouldn't be a bad Just idea if it was anyone else. An admission to present to Occam. No. And I know just how to get one. Big D saying something stupid that's taken out of context because even in context it sounds incredibly stupid. Yeah, th that's probably going to be very easily got. On the other hand, this entire scene has convinced me none of these three are the ghouls. Giles, because he's just getting a character point of view. This guy... I, I know his name. I just completely blinked at the moment. Black wall, black hole or something. Bloke hole, whatever. Because he's so absolutely obsessed with D that he wouldn't be the ghoul because I'd be giving it away. And I think his son is just way too up on himself to ever accept anyone else with power over him other than daddy dearest. Wait. Oh, that's D. I actually didn't even recognize him for a second there. Huh, it's probably because he was wearing pants all the way. Grimmel and Kitchen originally met at a rave. Raves were around back then? 
Oh, I have no idea about rave culture. I yeah, nothing in here. I know nothing. Held in the Suffolk Anime Convention, the fact that both are now blacklisted from the Suffolk Convention scene is a direct consequence of this meeting. This was seen as a positive outcome for both parties. Now had fewer reasons to ever go to Suffolk. How bad is that place? It's probably the New Jersey of London, isn't it? Or is that the New Jersey of England? Eh, whatever. A fond memory the two had was sharing a chip buttery... A chip buddy? With the last of their cash. Um... I'm going to just uh, make an assumption here. That is not to do with the historical prevalences of houses of ill repute within the London suburbs and is instead something to do with fries. I got no idea what a chip buddy is, but I feel like I should probably blur it for YouTube for some reason. I'll forget, but I probably should. The relationship blossomed after realizing they shared experiences with the supernatural. Really? The geeky stuff isn't what drew them together. It was the supernatural stuff. Huh. Because I'm used to the geeky stuff is what draws him to Marcus, who has way more experience with the supernatural. Huh. What? Were those words? Uh, I thought this was going to be an ad read, but no, it's literally just Kevin. Oh. I'm sorry, that actually amuses me. <laughs> with them to the funny phrenology library. Vita? Oh, blood. Vampire. Wait, is there a Kevin plushie? Oh, never mind. It was an ad. He's a plushie. Ah, Kevin plushie. Oh, I might have to buy this. Rada is an asbestos free. What has she done? I actually have literally no idea if this is a real thing or an in-universe thing because I think his former boss is the one we met or were aware of at the end of the previous episode. 200 units are sold. Production will start and the plush will soon If this isn't also a real thing, so, we need this. The campaign is live for 21 days, so take your shot. Yeah! For after this, the plush will be banished to the umbral depths never to be seen I curse again. you! I curse you! Die I kind of need to find Kevin. Did he just shoot himself? US dollar plus shipping with international shipping to most countries No, there's actually a link. Makeship.com products Kevin Plus One. I hope, and this is my honest thought here, that beyond just being a merch drop, this is also just a really funny little revenge plot done by Kevin's former boss. Because that would be hilarious if the merch is actually an in-universe thing. And it would probably work, considering that is the entire point of the Transformers TV show and a lot of other TV shows from the 80s and 90s. And they're even spelling it out like Clue. Chapter House of Great Yarmouth. It's actually pretty big. Floor 1, dining room, storage, kitchen, kitten. The music room, he's all on his own. He moved off. Penis explosion room? You know what? There's things I'm better off not knowing. Let's just move on. And Big D just is just slowly creeping in. Oh. What? Sorry, just fuming. Mind feeling elsewhere. Get dishes to sort, you know. Very uh, unsociable. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'll find somewhere fumeless. Security room's the most ventilated room in the building. Also, I'm not in it. Ventilated sounds nice, but I've got no clearance. We could let you in. They have but clearance? Will you? Um, no, still your own keys. Uh, oh. Wait. 
A Strange Murder? Is that actually the name of the bottle up there? Yeah, A Strange Murder. They have a bottle of wine called A Strange Murder, and also it looks like a frog face over here. I think we've been kermited. Odd choice. Why are you all back? Uh, Get trolls. He's find the. <laughs> he actually. Wait, what was that behind there? Uh, they stole the rolls. To find the. <laughs> what the hell? Is that a cross? And I don't even. It's just a little too blurry. They're bringing out like a suitcase. Ooh. What am I looking at? Of... Why is it your problem? Oh. I'm a hunter. <laughs> Listen, lad. You seem nice. Oh, he is nice. Whatever. Look at him. Have they like met? A soft pillow. Whatever. Like a little kitty. Between the that might try and doctor Remold, his pighead son, the son's yeah, dancing yeah. monkeys. I know, I know. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Pays good. Yeah, just not good enough. I mean, the entire vampire thing. On the other hand, he's a cocaine doctor. You know what? Actually, I having seen his face, that actually makes perfect sense. Now we're stuck here on overtime. Unpaid. Oh, my sympathies. You don't know the half of it. Yeah, well, unpaid overtime sucks. Hey, I mean, this is a desperate measure. The goal really that bad? Think it will cost me my job? Or your yeah. life? Might. Let us pray. <laughs> Can't be helped then. Easy on the hunter thing, okay? Why? No promises. <laughs> Cheers. If you need anything else, ask Amanda. <laughs> oh, her name's Amanda. Also, the suds are going crazy behind her. <laughs> this is a weird bottle of wine, though. Oi, Elise. It's me. Where's everyone? Well, uh... The Jojo Bird is back! The fuck? One cent, volume 11. What year was this? 1818. D, your information on that day. Also, there are scruff marks on here. I'm assuming that was from Wild Where's or something? everyone? Well, Who would scratch through? Uh, Big D would scratch through there. We can eat it again! Oh my god. Uh, sir, I've well, read why'd you say finally? It originates from a 19th century conspiracy magazine. That's the Holy Creation magazine. It's the paraphrased word of God. What? <laughs> Creation is. That's it. The Balaki goes in the box. The what? Baraki? <laughs> hey, they're just taking every fight possible. They're fighting? A um. Marcus, why do you have a 50? Does it say turnips? 50 turnips stuck to your chest? I, it's probably a joke. I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. They're fighting again? I mean, it's kind of their what thing. They were definitely Martin, dead at one point. Where have you been? Here. Suspicions. Who oh, keeps me mm -hmm. gone for three tire changes, almost a length of two football games, and so is that three hours or thirty minutes? And what is the length of a football game? Because normally I think I have no idea what that is in American football, and then I realize that's actually soccer, and I have no idea what that length is either. And I don't think he would as well. So has you, Co Winky Dink. Measures time like that. I've actually heard people do that, so it's not even just him. It's probably meant as a joke, but I've heard people do that, and I didn't understand what they were saying then either. Hours? Have you heard of hours? Probably He's not. Got a point. How come should have been done by now? We can go check on him. I'm checking on him. Say you are. Come with. Clever lad. Me eyes are on you, Red. Which is probably why you're going to stab first. Open up. Bowling. Oh, Who's still in there with Ockham? Nothing. Are we not loud enough? Bloody, just crack it open like a can. He could also just be hard at work with his rich. The rich. Oh, yeah, the blood. Tense. 
And they're still fighting each other. They're punctuating each hit with what sounds like a horn. I've never heard that done before. Usually it's like some kind of jokey sound or a serious slap effect. I've never heard musical instruments be the representation of damage, though. Can I hear it again? What is it, like a tuba? A trumpet? Yeah, they're actually pulling it to the song. That's what that is. Huh. Those are my he stole limits. the keys. Is that not much of a ward if you could break the lock with brute force? Oh my god. Driver he stole the driver's license for Kevin. Those are numbers? I have no idea what they mean. Kevin Ms. Is this what British driver's license look like? I have no idea. Gesundheit. Is the Badlands violence advisable? Oh, heavens forbid! I really should think more about my career! Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you! Wow! Big D actually just intimidated him for not doing violence. Oh! Bloody hell! Oi, lightweight! Wake up! Is he alive Is or he dead? Breathing? Let me check. When did you get here? Suspicious. Except it's so obliviously suspicious that I actually be less likely to believe it's her because of that. Unconscious, but alive. See the marks around the neck. He was strangulation. Out, probably from behind. The hell is going on in here? We heard a commotion. Oh, shit. Hmm. Just based on the clues we have so far. I mean, of course she's suspicious because she's already here and everyone else arrived later. Who would have the ability to do this? I don't know nearly enough yet. Peace! The ghoul must have our data! That's a really Every good one. Every hunter in Norfolk is compromised! The yep. coalition won't take kindly to this. Our chapter house status is at risk. That's Shit, what he's caring about. We should about? have just sat in a circle till Ockham was done. They Why did didn't we do, do that. that? Oh, they would kill each other. God, you're right. The constant fighting's distracted us. Yeah. All right. Who went unaccounted for after our exit from All the of you. Who could have attacked Ockham as we were leaving? Who didn't care the box? Re the old man. The old man is the most likely because he's the one who went off on his own. Everyone else was doing their own thing. These two were together, and it looks like one person strangled him. I think if she's who I think she is, that wouldn't be a problem, but... I didn't. Hmm, I wonder why. He was intimidated by Big D. He Amanda, wanted to walk him. Mr. Marcus, Dr. Waters, Lady Lise. Uh... Ooh, hello there. Did... Is that just a... Oh, yeah, the cocaine doctor. I'm assuming her name is Reynolds Waters or something. She was off getting high. Uh, Mr. Spires, Mr. Oakling, Grimoka, Charmer, and myself were not tasked with carrying. As Sir Blacklaw put it, it was a job only fit for the fittest of men. Another thrilling fuck up from the old guard. Silence, trumpet. You are a suspect. What the fuck are you? Stop fighting. Stop fighting. I She's gonna bite him. He's likely dealing with forces greater than I had hoped. What do you mean? It may well be that the ghoul has used its. It's. disciplines to orchestrate this. Disciplines? disciplines? That's. vampire magic. In oh, they sense, have access to yes, that. Yes. Our ghoul may have inherited. I was unaware ghouls could do that. I thought you only got access to the magic when you were a vampire. A ghoul with access to magic seems a lot more dangerous. Dangerous abilities through their master's blood. Inhuman strength, sharpened senses, even the power to bend my... Wait, wait, wait. Blood. Inhuman strength, sharpened senses, even the power to bend minds. I know we're supposed to be focusing on one of the specific vampires here. Because he threw the car... But the first person we see is 
kitten dodging the car and it then goes to him it's probably meant as that way and it's just a coincidence that it's specifically images with kitten sharpen senses even the power to Something bend is up with minds him, not to mention whatever sorcerers know how they may the possess blood. from either the Arcanum or their dark master. And you thought to mention this now? It wasn't relevant till now. Yes, it was. Baby is quiet. Did you just snap his neck? Uh, I know all of you. My interrogation skills will unravel this. Do not listen to Dee's drivel. He is behind this. Oh, that rich coming from someone with archive access. Elise, huh? you first. The oh, we actually got to see your eye. Stays. Sir D, we can't split up again. We are in... You're literally walking away. Stay! Marcus, we have to keep order before everyone... I'm not letting him bong waterboard, Elise. Wait. Wait. Bong waterboard? Yeah. Wakumi is out of commission for the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's true. So guess I got to take charge. Oh, Hi, she looks Matilda. happy about that. Bring Ockham to his office right now. Let's go. Chop, chop. Stop splitting up. I'll be back. Less talking, more pulling. Shit. And just like in TTS, Kitten's the only one with a head on his shoulders. Who's left? Me? Splitting up must be in the new fashion. Fantastic. Yeah, just decide who goes and first. Get spit. Fatigue. Oh, Fatigue. Blade, the loyalists, you come with us. Uh, no! no I wonder if it was Remold and the cocaine doctor. Now, do not panic. I was looking for Grimmel at the time and. Father, stop! Uh, wow. His hair really does change. Stop this madness! I mean, it is kind of mad. W what are you doing? I'm interrogating! Oh my god, is that the family? Wow. Someone really got the bad genes, and it wasn't him. Relatively normal-looking wife and... Uncle? Daughter? Son? And there's... Oh, is the... Is that a witch hunt behind them? Getting fool! You're getting your hair done! So? You... Yeah. You're not torturing Elise? Helsing's heart, no! What amateur would resort to torture at a time like this? Yeah, because that's literally what Marcus and Dor did. As soon as they had someone alone, they wanted to ask questions to. Although they were in cages, they weren't alone, but close enough. Black law. Your conductivity is suspiciously high. Black law! Marcus! Point down! Get me out of here! Let's go! Jingling! What in cock's name is- Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And what was that on the floor? They knocked out Amanda- Oh, wait. Why is she convulsing? That- They either knocked her out or something is going on. What in cock's name is this? Mutter it, your tone. Oh, it's one of the ogres from the fantasy game they did, yeah. My polygraph is sensitive. That's no lie detector. That's a car battery. There's no time to be lost. Let's move! Ow! She's a live wire! The brains of me pause polygraph. It zaps you until the truth leaks out. That's not... The longer it don't... Rock's <laughs> face looks like a baboon's ass! What? <sighs> Oh, his face looks like a baboon's. Yeah, I see it. It, it actually does. It actually turned off. Wow. Sweet relief. <laughs> Are you fried for that? Fishy. Fishy? Oh, shit. Son in law. Sadi, remind me to educate you on the basics of bare knuckle beatdowns. He got back up. Easy old timer. Give it a moment. Pa could never take a punch like that. <laughs> Impressive. Unless it was Brock the entire time. Because he wanted to be stronger. But he's still weaker. Ready to give up? You have potential, boy. Why waste it? Only thing I'm wasting is you, Geezer. Well then. No. I don't think it's Brock. He's definitely set up as a red herring because his spiritual successor version is. 
of the orcs essentially he's basically the played straight version of the joke the orcs were based around the bare knuckle brawler low class uh specifically someone who talk in a cockney accent as you can tell i have no idea how to say a cockney accent and i can't do accents in general but i think he's just stronger may the best keys out god this is all a ploy a front to steal from our archives I still think he's in the clear because he's just too insane oh, you're alive you what did he throw what did he throw at him? Oh, it was just a bottle. Ah, I thought it was like something special. That's just a bottle. Oh God, you're alive. Wait, was that a can of beans he dropped after that? Grease, <laughs> grease balls and sauce. Oh God, oh you're God. alive. British man. Cripple fight! Improvised with me block. Oh! The cripple used his leg to kick the guy in the nuts. Yeah, that's fair. Now you see. Bravado won't save you. Tricks will. Hey! Save her. Where'd she get that knife? I know you attacked Arkham D. Or should I call you? Kevin? What was that knife? Th oh, she just has a random... She got a knife with a wolf's handle. Most likely, either she had it already, or it was from Amanda, who is currently sort of convulsing on the ground while giving a thumbs up. Did she have any other involvement mm -hmm. there I missed? I know you attacked Arkham what? D. Or should I call you Kevin? Kevin? Behold! He stole his driver's license. How did you get that? Oh. I pilfered it from your pocket, Kevin Wetsworth. I pilfered that from the blank bottle. Dad, why are you carrying the wizard's driver's license around? It's a free, unused identity. Because it is. Look! The same! Indisputable! You and your spawns are the culprit! Wait. I'm sorry. I, I must be misunderstanding this. Does Blacklaw think... Does Blacklaw think Kevin looks like Big D? So he thinks this isn't a stolen identity, which it, Big D does because it's crime, and he likes that. Also, it happens to benefit him. But he thinks this is actually him. <laughs> that is... Wow. I really overestimated this man. He's an idiot. Fritz, that's not all. I interrogated the cook to see if she was in on your scheme. The, uh, Did he lose another tooth? The test was inconclusive. She was clear. Did he... Is he... His gold teeth keep moving. I just noticed that. Yeah. Now it's blacked out. But it... the, uh... And now it's on this side instead. They probably face swapped. Test was inconclusive. She yeah. was clearly lying. I'll get Dr. Waters. Wait, Elise. You don't know how sweaty she left that artist. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm still, uh, his mentis, isn't it? Poppy oh. Wait, did, she just... sweat. did she just say. Artist. Props while I'm still. Uh, <laughs> she was talking, the eyes just drifted apart, showing that she's still pretty fucked in the head from being essentially electrocuted. Poppycock! A man that never sweats, she's lower class, just like D. Enough! Technically, he would be older than class. Yes! Why? Your polygraph is broken! It's a car battery you were kidnapped. Also, pretty cool. Bring it on, Blacklaw! Fuck. What? So dumb. Yes. Marcus, Grimmel, Brock. Yeah. What do you want? We He's have listening? to stop all of this bloody fighting. This is asinine. Say yes. We're busy solving the case. We got nary a clue where anyone is, and all you've managed to do is fry poor Amanda. Yeah. The ghoul might be a. 
I mean, if she was a ghoul, she probably wouldn't be handling that nearly as well. Unless she survived it because she was a ghoul. I doubt it, though. Ironically, there's literally nothing the ghoul would need to do to destroy this chapter. They just need to literally keep them in the house together. Escaping at this uh, very uh, second! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing what my pa wants me to get this barmy investigation over with. And don't try to fool me! Yeah, that's too easy. It's you lot who are the... Distant violent screams? Well, someone's dead. Ghouls. What was that? It came from upstairs. Oh, bloody hell! Move, dickhead! Upstairs! Move, move, oh, move! Oh, wow. He actually put his priorities straight right away. Was not expecting that. Okay. I knew that the artist, Eliphas, and everyone else that is involved in this could do grotesque stuff because they've done Nurgle. But it always looked fantasy because of that. This doesn't. Yeah, it's restricted. I could I completely get why. I I, I wow. There it gets rid of the entire werewolf. She's covering her mouth. Is she smiling? That's Big D's reaction. He's angry, and so is Brock. Why did he live? Occam's awake! Whichever one of you did this, you won't see the morning. Fuck. Keyless Imperia does script editing? or Yeah, wow. Nice. I think the ending really hit, though. Not just because the music was disturbing, but because they had such a silly scene with just them beating the shit out of each other, and it was honestly hilarious. And even the fake beatdown of Amanda showing like, oh yeah, see, she's in horrible shape. I'm just giving a thumbs up, guys. It's all good. And then they go to, oh shit, there's actually bad things going on. I'm just going to quote a different series and go big mood. Oh, fuck, man. And what did Carl the Deranged do? Called it. I've heard these skits at the end are all being connected. I hate these filters with a passion. Uh, like it, it just bugs me. Like the pinched eyes. The, uh, uh. He's just out there. Werewolf attack? Or worse, Florida attack. Or worse, a solicitor! Is he going to be pulled out?
<laughs> Random Carl with an axe. Oh shit, that escalated. Okay, he's trying so hard not to laugh. Yep, we have reached full Florida levels. I'm sure something like this has probably happened. <laughs> what? What? Why? Wind peak? <laughs> Were they just doing an excuse to have all of the noises he can make? Oh, I don't like how clever you are. He's a clever boy. My god, a shoe! What? He's in a leather jacket. What the? I have so many questions what the hell I'm watching, but frankly, it's a really nice change of pace from the end of the last episode. He melts in water now? Oh, must be from Flint. Babyface McGee, the hero we needed. It's literally the freaking thing he's using. And there's a chair in there. Why is... I don't... Actually, the chair in the pool kind of sounds like a good idea. So I'm going to say something I never thought I would. Thank you, Bruv Alpha Busa, for using Carl the Deranged as an axe murderer to reduce the level of tension in the video because you ended that on... a very big mood. Holy shit, man. I thought this would be a funny episode. I thought we were leading into the first episode of the new season where it's like, oh yeah, things are going to happen. It's going to be zany and we get to build up to it. Maybe get a hint of what's going to happen next. No, we're dropping right into, okay, here's all the zany, all the zany, all the, oh shit, it's everywhere. I was swearing the old guy would be the one because he would be the least likely. So he's probably the most likely. Amanda's probably... Either the ghoul or a werewolf, like I said, because of the sheer violence. And we saw that someone was scratching around before, so maybe those were ghoul marks rather than anything else. At least look properly terrified as well. But not Amanda, sorry. Um, wild, because she was the one covering her mouth. We just saw big eyes, but for all I know, she could have been smiling behind her hands. And I don't know. And then there's just so many questions, and all I can think is, oh hell, man. And I just, this is... This is a lot. I, the tone was so perfectly nonsensical and ridiculous that it really did emphasize just how much of a mood whiplash it was. From that to the absolute terror of just what happened there. Guile surviving. And I'm wondering if maybe he did that and survived it and it wasn't him doing it. Maybe this wasn't the cool. I don't know what's going on. And for all I know, maybe that man was the ghoul and, sorry, not, not Kyle, Spit. People mentioned in the comments for the last one, maybe he is a werewolf himself and there was a change and he just ended up taking out a monster that way. I don't know. I, I just, until we get more information, I don't know, but it's so freaking intense. When the next video comes out, I am really hoping I'm not as sick as I was this last time around because I would have loved to just binge this in one go. I didn't because I couldn't form sentences for like an hour after the last time I recorded a video. And yeah, this is as much talking as I can do without causing physical pain. The other times were accomplished through significant amounts of medication that were probably not safe. Yeah. And when you reach thousand plus milligrams, you should probably stop taking certain medications. And by that, I mean, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, NyQuil, more NyQuil. Th there was a lot of NyQuil involved. Let's put it that way. I'm pretty sure I hallucinated half the videos I recorded the last week. Also, I probably shouldn't have recorded them, but that's on me. More importantly, if you guys know what's going on, I kind of want to ask for information, but also I don't think I want to be spoiled. I don't know. So if you want to give me a heads up on spoiler-free info that might be relevant, let me know. Wait, I'm caught up. I don't need to worry about spoilers. If you guys have any idea what's going on, let me know, because I just really want to hear what's going on, what people think. This is so freaking cool, man. And, and fucked up, but really cool. Oh, shit. Basically, what I'm saying is, link below. There's a video to the original one. 
just want to see a video to the original link. Link to the original video. Hit it up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.